Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I am going to explain you how to create a navigation drawer activity, the default activity which is given in Android Studio. You can just select that, open that, create that and how you can edit that activity like add the logo, all of this stuff and how all of these files are related to each other and I'll also show you by adding one more content in here and customizable stuff inside that fragment. Okay. So that's what I'm going to show in this video. Let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Savant. Welcome to the channel. All right, so as you can see, Android Studio, we are going to start fresh. We'll create a new project. Here, I've opened the emulator just to run the project. Okay, so start new project. Here, we'll select navigation drawer activity, this one. Okay, we'll name it navigation drawer. Okay, easy, finish. Let the project build itself. We'll go full screen on that. All right, so this is the project. First of all, I'm going to explain you all this stuff. Now, when you create a navigation drawer activity, all of this stuff gets inside it. So all of this, these are interrelated with each other. So first off, drawable. Now, these are basically the icons and all of that stuff. See, gallery, then camera, all of that. Next is the layout. Now, inside layouts, this is the main activity. So when you start the application, this will be the home screen when you open the drawer see okay now when we go to the code here it includes app bar main and it includes these two the header layout which is navigation header main this one and activity main drawer which is in the menu okay so first of all app bar main what is this this is basically the toolbar and the floating action button if you go to the code you'll see that see toolbar floating action button and kind of the layout next activity main drawer so this is the drawer once you open it all the contents the items will be here this every item has an id an icon and a title and the titles are stored inside the string inside the value okay strings see these are the titles okay now let's go to content now this is nothing related to the toolbar or float button this is basically the content as you can see this is the highlighted area fragment okay now fragment underscore gallery home slideshow what are these now once in main once you open the drawer and click on these it has to do some action it has to open some activity right so once you click on these these will open once you click on home home will open once you click on gallery gallery and then slideshow so these three are for that purpose next is nav header main now see as you can see you you can recognize it so if you open main see this part so that's nav header main here four things are there background this green the logo and these two text files as you can see background then logo and do two text files okay we'll change the logo later then the main now main just has this settings button once you click on it no action will happen you can assign some action later but it's up to you map map all of the launch icons and all of that stuff so we don't need to do anything with this Next is navigation. Now inside navigation, every screen has its ID, then its label, which we had seen in the strings and a Java fragment file attached to it. Okay. So that's, those were the resources. Now let's go to the Java files. Okay. So this is the main activity, the Java file for activity underscore main. See this one. Okay. Here they have declared the toolbar, then floating action button. You can remove this if you want. If you don't know how to create floating action button and all that stuff uh, on the top right of your screen, there's a video you can watch that. Next, see, we are concerned with this one, this one. Okay. Here, what they have done is r.id.nav underscore home gallery slideshow. Okay. Now, when we went in navigation, as you can see, everything has an ID, as I had said, nav underscore home gallery slideshow. So that they have linked it here so that you can view that file later once you click on those buttons these two i won't explain it right now it will take time all we are concerned with is this one okay so that was the explanation see 
one more thing packages now here every button as we had home gallery and slideshow right so each of them have a fragment file and a view model here what they have done basically is see this is a gallery fragment now i'll run this okay now this is a gallery fragment which means that when you click on gallery button it will open the activity this gallery fragment that text will get here and it will assign it to the text view of which the id is text gallery okay once we open where was that okay text gallery right so fragment underscore gallery see text underscore gallery is the id of this text view okay so that's what they have done here view model has some text it will get here and it will assign it to this xml file under this id get it so that's that now see this is a home fragment now if i click on gallery this is a gallery fragment as we had seen they have written inside the view model this is a gallery fragment so that was it for the main explanatory part for introduction so that's how all of these things are related with each other okay so i'm just going to close all of this so that was the navigation drawer when you open the activity now what we're going to do is we'll add one more thing inside the activity main one more component down here okay so first off let's edit the xml file let's go to menu activity main drawer okay here the items are there right so i'll just copy this item i'll go down here control v paste it here it will need a id right so let's take contacts okay contacts next it will need an icon right so what you do is we, we right click on drawable go to new vector asset select a clip art contacts you can search here get it contacts okay next finish done it's inside drawable see contacts underscore underscore 24 so we'll replace it here drawable contacts 24 what happened here all right it will need this okay now see the icon is here and here string it will need a title right so we'll go to strings file see these are the three titles so i'll copy this one i'll go down i'll paste it we'll give it an id menu underscore contacts and here wait a second here will write contacts this is the id this is what will be displayed so let's close this and here it will replace it with contacts done now let's see if these changes have re reflected inside this file see contacts is here now we have added it now once we click on it something has to appear here right so what we're going to do is we'll go to the java files first okay now here behind it we have to create a fragment right see there were fragments inside the layouts for each of these buttons right gallery home slideshow so for that here first of all we'll have to add a package so right click on ui go to new package okay click on it here you have to assign a name to the package we'll simply write contacts just like other files hit enter then package is here now we'll have to add the fragments and a view model as they have done for now okay so i'll right click on it new fragment with view model click on it okay so here we'll name it contacts fragment hit enter see a fragment is here a view model is here and we'll have somewhere here and wait a second this one yeah xml file first of all i'll just refactor it rename it okay rename it in the same format so that you'll understand it fast fragment underscore contacts okay the fragment underscore gallery home slideshow contacts done now first of all let's edit the xml file all we have to do is copy paste something so here let's go to gallery let's take this same thing control a control c select all copy we'll go to contacts we'll go to the code we'll select all and we'll paste it now here we just have to make two changes we have to change the id first text underscore let's type contacts okay it has its own id for the text view and next is the context now see we had copied from gallery so ui 
then gallery then gallery fragment right so now we'll add ui then contacts then contacts fragment so contacts oh shit not there here here contacts dot contacts fragment done no errors for now it's cool so we're done with the xml file let's close the file okay we don't need all of this now okay we don't even need main next step what we are going to do is now once we have created the xml file let's go to this file fragment now same thing we are going to copy paste something so you can take any of these first files and second files okay first of all let's go to view model okay we have nothing here right so we'll take stuff from gallery copy this whole thing control c okay and then we'll go to context view model paste it done here we'll just have to rename it to contacts view model okay done and here we'll write this is a contacts fragment done so view model is done let's go to fragment now here we have to copy stuff from gallery fragment okay same stuff first of all copy all of the packages inside contacts fragment paste it here then now the name will remain the same context fragment and here instead instead of this we'll write contacts view model done simple okay we'll go to gallery fragment again see and this main code will have to copy it and paste it instead of this code control v now we see a few errors right why because we have to copy this instead of this done and one more here contacts it is again contacts view model done done with this now we don't have errors but still we have to edit two things now as i had said it takes the text from the view model and see it recognizes the xml file right first of all so what is the xml file fragment underscore contacts right so we'll take that and the id of the text view what was the id of the text view it was text underscore contacts right so we are here we'll write text underscore contacts done so we are done with this file we don't have to change anything here where's the error here Context fragment, right? We'll go here. Okay, we need one more bracket here. So what we are going to do? Enter, and where's the bracket? This one. Done. No more errors. So we are done with all of this stuff. Let's run it again. Let's see if it runs properly or not. Wait a second. Okay, zero errors. Let it open. See, once it opens, contacts. Now. If you click on contacts it doesn't show anything. Why? Because we still have a few more changes. So, we edited all of these files, right? Now, let's go to main activity. As I had shown you these three things, right? Home, gallery, slideshow. So, we have to go to navigation first. We'll copy this thing, control C, control V, take any of it, see overlap here. So, we'll drag it down here. Now, we'll have to give an id so we'll take nav underscore contacts okay string the label which we had given at the red string underscore menu c menu underscore contacts right and select the fragment which was the fragment contacts fragment select it we are done here okay so we are done with the navigation now let's go to main activity and just type it down here r dot id dot nav underscore contacts done now let's run the application and let's see if once we press on contacts it shows up here or not zero errors the application is open we'll click on the drawer now and see let's click on contacts as you can see this is contacts fragment it shows up contacts here everything is okay the apps not crashing so yeah we've successfully implemented this now 
let's say you want to add a custom button inside contacts or some other stuff okay so what we're going to do is they have complicated this process here see the view model and all of that stuff we don't actually need this so what we are going to do is we'll make it as simple as it can be okay we don't need all of this now inside contacts we want to add a button right so first off i'll delete the view model we absolutely don't need it okay we'll go inside contacts fragment see we got a few errors this declaration will delete it huh then this line will delete it and then this two lines done so that's all that's all you have to delete wait let me check it once again wait a second we're going to delete this one let this be here okay so yeah that's all we need and let's go ahead where are we okay so now we have edited this now we have to edit the fragment file here we don't need the text view right we want to add a button so we'll remove the text view we'll open the palette go to design add the button here we center it horizontally and vertically because it's a constraint layout and we're done see the button has been added now let's run the application let's see if the button's there wait a second we have an error where is it okay so we don't need this we'll just remove this let's run it again okay let's go to contacts and there it is the button is here apps working perfectly fine we'll go to settings see all of that stuff app isn't crashing so yeah that's how you can add one more activity to the navigation drop one more thing i'll show you let's replace this icon and this text okay some people will still have a hard time replacing it so it's basically a very easy process what we have to do is first of all we'll have to take a uh, whatever the image which we want to replace in there okay here whatever image you want you'll have to take it in the drawable so let's take this image inside the drawable file see the image is here my logo okay logo.png so inside nav header main what we'll do is we'll replace it here in the src we'll write at the rate drawable okay and we'll need logo so where's the logo wait a second see drawable logo okay now the logo is here we'll just have to resize it a little you can resize it directly here okay select this and yeah that's it then we'll go to android studio let's write a name here what's this nav underscore header title it's inside strings right so header title i'll write my name done here it will show some in sound now and once we run the application wait for it zero errors applications running let's open the drawer see the logo is here the name has been changed once you click on contacts you have the custom button everything's working fine apps not crashing so yeah that's how you can create a navigation drawer in android studio that was it for the video guys now if you like this video if you find it informative leave a like share this video with your friends as much as you can so that they'll also be able to build the navigation drawer flawlessly and practice as much as you can this code because there's not really any code you just have to know the procedure all right also consider subscribing to the channel i post various android studio tutorials there's a playlist okay you can watch that and i also post tech reviews gaming videos vlogs and all that stuff. so yeah thank you for watching the video bye bye